Repurposing an anti-lipid drug to tackle HPV-positive head and neck cancer. HPV-positive head and neck cancer is driven by HPV, a virus that is well known to cause cervical cancer. HPV-positive head and neck cancer is typically treated with surgery, radiation and or chemotherapy. However, treatment outcomes are far from ideal and there is a clear need for new therapies. This cancer features a viral protein called E6 as a linchpin of its survival and growth. Previous research has shown that using genetic tools to block this protein can prevent tumour growth. E6 and the signalling pathways associated with it may therefore represent a tantalising therapeutic target for HPV-driven cancers. To investigate this further, Dr Wendy Quinn O'Neill of the University Hospital's Sideman Cancer Centre and colleagues examined the relationship between HPV-positive head and neck cancer, the E6 protein, and pre-existing drugs that could modulate related signalling pathways. Their goal was to find better ways to treat the cancer. The researchers first used a genetic tool to block the production of E6 in cancer cells and observed increased levels of cell death and reduced cell growth. The researchers then tested this in mice and observed significant reduction in tumour size when E6 production was blocked, with a 90% reduction in some mice. Genetic tools are not always suitable for use in patients, so the team wished to find a drug that can block the activity of E6. They investigated the biochemical signalling pathways that are affected by the E6 protein and then searched for existing drugs that are known to affect those pathways. This approach is known as drug repurposing. It has additional benefits because the safety profiles of existing drugs are already established. The researchers identified an FDA-approved drug called phenofibrate, which is used to treat abnormal levels of blood lipids. Phenofibrate modulates several signalling pathways that are also affected by genetic manipulation of E6 in cancer cells. This drug is much less harmful than the conventional chemotherapy drugs used to treat head and neck cancer. Initially, the researchers tested the effect of phenofibrate on head and neck cancer cells in a dish and found that it successfully reduced cell growth and survival. When the researchers proceeded to mouse studies, they found that phenofibrate reduced tumour growth as much as cisplatin, the standard of care chemotherapy drug for head and neck cancer patients. When the researchers combined phenofibrate with cisplatin, they observed tumour-killing effects that were greater than that of either drug alone. In half of the mice that received the combined treatment, the tumour had almost completely disappeared, with one mouse showing no evidence of the tumour after treatment. These results are very promising, and the research team is moving to evaluate phenofibrate in a window of opportunity phase 1 clinical trial for HPV-positive head and neck cancer. Thank you.